It was history making week in Virginia when Don Scott became the first African American Speaker of the House. Yeah, but it was William Ferguson Reed who paved the way. Reed made history back in 1967 as the first black person elected to the state legislature since Reconstruction in 1890. Our political and government reporter, Leonard N. Fleming, sat down with the 98 year old political icon. With Dr. Reed and then L. Douglas Rowell as Virginia's first black governor in 1989, Scott is leaning on important historical figures who paved the path for him. It was a day, though, that Virginia's first black elected official in the 20th century thought he'd never see a black speaker of the Virginia House of Delegates. My first immediate emotion is just gratitude. I'm delighted that it happened. William Ferguson Reed says he beamed with pride this week when Don Scott took the speaker's gavel in once racially segregated Virginia. I know I stand on the shoulders of giants. One of those giants he mentioned is called Fergie by family, friends, and close allies. But did you ever think that you'd see a black speaker of the house in Virginia, the, the arsenal of the Confederacy? No, I never did, and that's why it, it took me by surprise. Uh, because I wasn't surprised as we got more and more blacks elected to the Senate and the House, but it, that was not one of uh, my goals uh, because uh, I just didn't think about it as being uh, possible. The reality of Scott becoming speaker is still settling into the aging activist known for his crucial voting registration drives in the 1950s and 60s. There's so much uh, resistance. Dr. Reed hasn't talked yet to the new speaker, but if he could offer Scott some advice. The only thing I would ask him to do would be fair to both the Republicans and the Democrats. You got to have harmony. Uh, you, you can't go in there with an idea that I'm going to be partial and I'm going to screw the Republicans and do everything for the Democrats. Dr. Reed says he's most proud of how Virginia would not only have a black man as House Speaker, but was willing to allow Scott redemption for serving time in prison. And Scott, Dr. Reed says, has done quite well without his advice. Reporting from the studio, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you. Yeah, great.